Welcome to Millard South Media Stream. We have a great game here. Millard South Patriots against Millard West Wildcats. It is a beautiful night here at Buell Stadium. I'm Jonathan Spieler. And I'm Wilson Dittman. And let's start it off. What are the what are we what are we looking for in uh, the Millard West Wildcats? So let's start off with Miller West. They're a team coming off a disappointing year last year. They returned their quarterback, Barty Peterson. Yeah, it was a struggle bus last year for their offense, but he's coming back and have another year of experience. They lost one of their best producers on offense, their running back, Nathan Peterson, who was second in the state in rushing. Expect to see a lot, a lot of question marks on this offense, but they've proven they can win before, and we can expect to see a high-scoring game today. Yes, and then on the flip side, what can we expect from the returning winners, Millard South Patriots? Millard South is a team with a lot of storyline. Ty Wisdom, new head coach, replacing Andy Means. He spent last couple years in Arizona, comes back to Millard South. Expect to see a culture change, but another and a great a great coach here. Key returners, Cam Colgel, committed to Vanderbilt for baseball. Option quarterback, he's going to be flying all over the field. Brock Murdaugh, wide receiver. Lance Rucker, sack leader returning, and Grant Rankin. These are guys you can expect to see flying over the field today, having a great day. Millard South is going to have a field at one of the best offenses in Class A. Get ready to get this rolling. Coming right to you before the game, we have an exclusive interview with the Millard South players. Dylan Scheisler talks with Cam Colgel and Brock Murdaugh. We are now joined alongside Cam Kojo and Brock Murtaugh. Cam, a new coaching staff this year. What are the thoughts on them? You know, I'm really excited. I love our coaching staff. Um, coach Wisdom, he's a great coach. Brings a lot of energy to practice every day. Um, he's done a lot for our program. Just a couple months he's been here. Not just the varsity level, but also the JV freshman reserve levels that a lot more improvements. And I'm excited to see how today goes. Excited to get a win. Yeah, we're excited to see how he can impact this organization. and. Now over to Brock. You know, you guys beat him bad this last year, 46-7. to seven. So what's the game plan again this year? Do the same. Yeah, um, we're going to play hard. Uh, you know, that's what you can control. Uh, you know, it's always fun playing Millard West. They play hard. They're physical. Um, but it's just who can keep their composure. A lot of things are going to go on. Emotions are going to be high. But, you know, it starts up front. we got to win that battle, and then we can start throwing it. we got a lot of great playmakers, and he can throw the rock a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, he's a great quarterback. He makes great plays. Um, you know, and then defensively, we got to fly around. we got to hit him, hit him hard, and, um, you know, just uh, play a good four-quarter matchup. Yeah, good to hear. So talking about a little bit more about this game, you know, the rivalry, Millard South versus Millard West, the Q Street Classic, how much at all, if it does, like, does that factor in to the actual game play? Um, I think on our squad we got a lot of varsity talent, but it's not really proven yet. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of young guys, and practice is easy, but when you get thrown in front of five, 6,000 people with your first game, it, it can be a lot. So um, just like Brock said, a lot of composure needs to come into, a lot of focus, um, making plays when we need to make plays. And I don't think the rivalry affects people or players as much as you think because when you're so focused in the game, it everything kind of just zones out. Yeah, well, thank you guys for joining us on our pregame show. Uh, got about five minutes until this game starts, so enjoy the matchup. Go Pats! Go Pats! And we are back here. Two teams are getting ready to take the field. Looks like Miller's has to take the field right now. And we are getting ready for kickoff. Millard South to return. Great turnout tonight in Buell Stadium. Gavin Noli and Delon Jones back there for the return. Both big playmakers expect to see this one potentially bust loose for a touchdown. We 
we have for our kicking off for Mode West, we have uh, number six, Sean Murphy. And with a kickoff time of about seven o'clock, we're gonna get this game underway. Millard South Wildcats against Millard Millard South Patriots. I Delon mean, Jones. And Alon takes it to about the 28 yard line. Great start for the Millard South Patriots. Got to get this offense going early. Cam Colgill got to march out of the field, establish establish the passing game, and it's got to start off a good drive to get the season going. And we will see what they're going to start off with. I think it's important for the Patriots to start off strong. Looks like it's going to be a passing play. Running, tackled. Nice and little screen pass right there. And Brock Murdoch with the catch. Another passing play. That is caught. Ruled incomplete pass. Looked like a fumble, but ref said otherwise. Tried to go back to the screen there. Didn't work. Miller West snuffed that out for a incompletion. And looks like it's gonna be a running play, and he is stopped. Millard West saw that coming. Looks like he was stopped right on the line. Maybe, maybe it was a loss of yards. The Millard West student section is currently booing. Big third down right here. Looks like he's going to be another passing play. And that was right over his head. Flag on the field. See what the flag's going to be. And that's going to be a false start on the offense. Penalty decline is going to be fourth down. It looks like Millard South is going to start their opening run with a punt. Flag luster drive. Not a way you want to kick off the first drive of the year, but give it back to this Patriot defense. See what they can do. Good punt there. Down right around the 18 yard line. Offense coming out from Miller West. See if the offense can carry over that energy from the defense with the defense getting a three and out there. Let's see how the Miller South defense responds. And the starting quarterback for the Middle West Wildcats is Brody Peterson. Nice little carry there, but the Miller South D didn't give up many yards. Second down. Flag on the field. Looks like a false start. Backing them up five yards. Oh, 
Another running play. Tries, Tries to push deep. through, but doesn't get far. Bates, Patriots Z not giving up much right now. Big third down to get the ball back to the offense. Running on the outside. And a no off. flag. No flag. Looked to have gotten by the neck there. That was a hard tackle by number 13, Jones. Delon Jones looks to be returning this pump. He looked, he looked banged up after that play. He's limping back. Let's see how he returns this, or he's just going to take a fair catch. High snap! He's gonna have to kick it! Oh! We're gonna let oh. that. I don't know if we can get a replay of that, but that was a high snap. And it was almost costly for Miller West. Luckily, the punter got it off in time. I mean, what a kick that was to have that high snap and have the concentration to boot that 50 yards down the field. I mean, ridiculous by the punter, but costly, costly high snap. But it didn't. It didn't. They didn't have to. They didn't have to give up any points there. And Billard South will have the ball now. Running play. Gets tripped up around the 46-yard line. Nolan Feller there with the carry. I'm telling you, burst on that kid. Going to need the ball get going right here on the offense after a disappointing start to their uh, start to this game. Passing play. What a play. Lance Rucker with the catch. Beautiful catch there. And that is what the Patriots needed. Looks like they're going to start hustling to the line. Keep the momentum. Keep the momentum. <laughs> Stumbles, but makes the best of it, getting a couple of yards there. Nice little option there. Coles are getting to use his feet a little. Respawn the ball real quick here. Tried for the passing play, but just a little high. Thirty-five, Grant Rankins coming in. Really got to get this drive started here. Second down, ten. They're in field goal range. Can't find a guy. Rolls out. Just behind him, but there's a flag on the play. And we'll see what the flag is for. There we go. Roughing the quarterback right there. Miller South's going to have a first down. And that is a costly mistake for Miller and West. Giving them an automatic first down. 
Miller West fans aren't having it. They're not. They're not happy about that one. That was a little tic tac call there by the refs. Establishing, they're going to call that early. They're not. They're not going to let everything fly in this game. And that is putting the Millwood Patriots in very good position to score here. Let's see if they can make the best of it. And that's going to be a QB keep. Looks like he's going to get a couple of yards. Nice play design there. Just didn't work. I like the little the little reverses they're doing to start off this game. Trying to trying to mix it up. They're going to bust one. If they keep if they keep going back to that, they're going to get one to, they're going to get a big chunk play. Big third down right here. Third and six, didn't get far. And if you were Millard South, are you going for it on fourth down and six, or are you, are you just taking the points and getting the field goal? Got to go for this right here. Get that seven-point lead early. Three points is all right, but seven points, start this game off. This is a rival. You go for it on fourth down and gets a rival. I agree. The worst thing that happens is they turn it over, but that's just going to be a turnover, and they're at – Good thing they got the first down. And that's going to be a pass off. Might take it wide. And oh, that's going to be that's going to be a touchdown for Millard South Patriots. What did I say? Go back to the reverse. Pays off. Touchdown. And Millard South starting off not as strong but really coming out in this second drive here. You couldn't script it any better right there. Marched down the field and, and got it done. Got that seven points. Barring the extra point right here. And Miller South is going to hopefully take a seven-point lead early in this game. Up and in. And that was great play design by Millard South, taking the risk, but it paid off huge as they scored seven and putting them on the board. The story of that drive, clutch conversions on third down. Drove down the field, got it done in the reverse. I told, I said, they keep going back to that reverse, they're gonna bust one and get a touchdown. There you go, start off 7-0 against the Millard West Wildcats. And now let's see what Millard West is gonna respond with. Are they gonna be as aggressive or are they going to play it safe? Miller West, they have to come out doing everything they can to get back in this game. You don't want this thing to get ugly like last year. It's out kicking it off. It's going to return this. And that's going to be a return. Keeps going, gets tackled, gets wrapped up. Right there at the 24. Right at the 24 yard line. On a bad return. Let's see what the Miller West Wildcats can come up with to see if they can at least get some points on the board. If this isn't a must score drive for Miller West, I don't know what is. You gotta get on the scoreboard right here before you give the, the ball back to this Patriot offense, which we know is lethal. Cannot let the Patriots build up all that energy. Let's go D! And momentum. And he has running play, and Millard South responds. Brings him right back to where he started. Snuffed that out right away. Loss of yards there for the Wildcats. Oh, it's defense doing a great job stopping the Wildcats. Might have to change it up a little. They want to get something to work here. 
Miller West has to start relying on the arm of their quarterback. And again, losing, Miller and West losing their best running back last year. They really had to resort to something else as their running plays do not seem to be working out for them. Miller South is really not letting them get any yards in those running plays. This Patriot D is salty, I'm telling you. They got to air it out right now. Change it up. Patriots are just committed on, on the running game. That's all that Miller West is trying to do. Miller West can find success in the passing game and open up the running game. Must convert this if you're a Wildcat. And it's going to be third and 11 here. Looks like a passing play. And he's going out for it. And it was just a little far. And the intended receiver is number 28 for Millard West. Jackson Williams. Millard West fans won't be happy about that one, but it was a good play. He had separation on the receiver, just couldn't connect. And again, I go back to that. And again, tried to mix it up there with a passing play, but this is unfortunate for Millard West as they're going to have to punt, and they are at the 24-yard line. Delon Jones back there again for the punt return. So Millard South again will be starting around the 40-yard line. Looked like a fake for a second. Looks like. I don't agree with that at all. They stopped that play dead. He was not down. All right. Close call there. Refs called him down. What a bust at that one deep. He had separation. But. If he wasn't down, he might have he might have scored that. He was pretty pretty open there. Miller South just gonna have to make the best of it. Another running play, QB sneak. Got him a couple of yards there. They're starting off, they're running the option a lot in this game, and you wouldn't have done the other way with a great option quarterback like Cam Colchell. Cam Colchell really showing he's a triple threat here. Miller South is a breeding ground for option quarterbacks. Gage Sanger last year, the best quarterback in the state. Cam Colchell looks to replace him. And it's going to be second and five. Timeout. Timeout for the Patriots. Now is a great time to thank our sponsor, Runza. Have you downloaded the Runza app? If you just answer no, what are you waiting for? Visit the app store, create an account, and start earning rewards today. Download the Runza mobile app. Runza makes it all better. And we are getting back here to the game. Both teams have taken the field. Miller South looking to extend their lead with a dominating offensive drive. The Old West defense is going to have to find a stop here if they want any chance. And looks like it's going to be a passing play to number 18. And that should be a first down. Brock Murdo with the catch. Nice little play action to get, get the game going, get the drive going. And that's going to be... And I like what Miller South's doing. Just a little mix of run and pass, not committing to one thing, really keeping the defense guessing. Going to be on the 49-yard line here. And another fake and a QB sneak, Kojal. 
what a move by the quarterback there, showing it off like he's a running back to get the first down. It's been working, so why stop now? Midwest is going to have to find a response to that. Seems to consistently get them a couple of yards at least. And let's see what they're going to do next. Looks like it's going to be a passing play. Number 33 sneaks by. Another screen to Lance Rucker. And that's going to be a first down. Chains. Miller South isn't doing anything complicated here. Little reverses, play action screens, and it's working. This, they're catching the Miller West D lacking, and they're going. They're driving down the field. Just keep it simple. All right, passing play here. That's going to be a long throw just far, though. Tried to go all or nothing there. And that, that's exciting as a fan to see them, them air it out, even if it was an isn't a completion. You want to see that to one of your best wide receivers. Again, mixing things up, not going for the same thing every time. Absolutely. Okay. That's a pass. Nice spin move. Lots of stiff arms. What a play, little slant there, and he did the rest. Breaks a couple tackles, puts a move on the defender, big play to put them in the red zone. That was a great run by number 18, Brock Murtaugh. He's been a playmaker. And another simple pass to number 41, and that's gonna be a touchdown for Miller South Patriots. Gavin Noli with the reception. There you go. Millard South starting off not so well, but really heating it up here, scoring two back-to-back. -back. This and offense looks unstoppable right now. And Millard West has yet to find a response. They're going to need to soon before it gets out of hand. Millard South has all of the energy right now and looking to put it through the uprights. It's in. And that's going to be in. That's going to make it 14 to nothing. Millard South Patriots. And we'll be right back. And we are back. Millard South just scored, making the making it 14-0. Millard West looking to respond here. Could have script a better start to this game for if you're Millard South. And for Millard West, your back's against the wall early in the first quarter. This needs to be a scoring drive. Touch back there. And if I'm Miller West, I'm airing the football out. They've unsuccessfully went to the running back multiple times this game, just been running the football. Hasn't worked. The Patriots D snuffed it out. You got to get the passing game going. Well, it's our defense doing their job. Not letting them get down the field. Starts with the passing play. Doesn't find anyone. Stays on his feet. 
Shows he can run, and the Patriots cannot tackle him. What an impressive play by the quarterback. The Patriots blitzed the quarterback, could not get him down, put a couple moves on him, and actually got yards on the play. Just athleticism right there, and that's one way to start the drive if you're Millard West. And that's going to get two and six. Millard South could not wrap him up there. And that was the first sign of weakness for the Millard South Patriot defense. And you'll see they have a different quarterback out here for this drive. Will Anderson is out for Millard West. And we have a fall on blitz. That's another passing play. Nice little dump off. Doesn't have to be complicated. You see Millard South doing that. Miller West converts, gets the first down. Really nice start to the drive if you're a Wildcat. Miller West showing they can pass the ball with success. Let's see if they continue or switch it up and do a running play here. Really shows they trust the arm of number 16 more than their starting quarterback. He comes in the game, they start airing it out. And that's a pass. Oh. That's me. Number 28 going down the field. And that's going to be a touchdown for Millard West Wildcats. There it was. There it was. Just it doesn't, it doesn't have to be complicated. Play action right there. Found the open man wide open. The passing game got going for Miller West. And what do you see? Touchdown. Jackson Williams goes down the field, gets open, and number 16 throws it, and that was a beautiful throw to get a touchdown. This is what Millard West needed, a response. Let's see if they can put it through the uprights. And that's good. Millard West responding and getting seven on the board here. Disheartening drive here in Millard South, but you're going to come back, give it to the offense who has been who has been lethal to start the game. Just get another touchdown on the board. Millard West making it interesting. That quarterback change, get, getting Will Anderson in there for the starting. Brody Peterson really, really just shows that they trust the arm more of Anderson, and there's no surprise. He comes in the game, seven points. Expect them to stick with him for the rest of this game. As we said, the running game wasn't working. They switched to throwing and they scored. No, it's that defense is gonna have to respond to that running game as well. I mean, passing game. Special teams taking the field. Delon Jones and Gavin Nunnally back there for the return. Jalon Jones almost bust one on the punt return a little while ago. He might, if he, you get the ball in his hands here, it's all he's always dangerous to bust one deep. See if Millard South can get some energy back. Millard West student section, they're pumped. They're, they're pumped up. You see the same energy from Miller South. Touchback. Running play, number two. Nolan and Feller. he found a gap. He might go. He's going to go. And Millard South returns for a touchdown. One play, Nolan Feller. What, are they, what a burst. 
and he is gone. 75 yards for the touchdown. And we talked about responding. There you go. That's, that's one way to do it. Miller South comes back strong, showing that they don't care. And that was a great run. By Nolan Feller. Simon McLennan out there for the extra point. Committed to Kansas State as a preferred walk on. Congrats to him. We're rooting for him. See if they can get through the uprights here. And that's good. Millard South. Making it 21 to 7. Minute 31 left in the first quarter. And we'll be right back. back if you missed it one play one score for Millard South they get another seven on the board 21 to 7 here Simon McLennan for the kickoff not showing any sign of weakness here. He's going to bring it out. And again, 28. And he has room. And he is wrapped up by number 14. DeLon Jones with the tackle. DeLon Jones saved it there. But a great return by number 28. Jackson Williams. This is a high, this is going to be a high scoring game here. Both teams responding. Let's see if Miller West can keep the momentum that they got on that kickoff and convert and score another seven. Looks like they're going back to number seven, Brody Peterson at the quarterback position. Really interesting there. Another passing running play. Bain Strong for a couple yards. Doesn't have to be complicated. I keep saying that it does not have to be complicated if you're Millard West. Just keep pushing the rock, switching it up, passing the football. You gotta, gotta go with what works, and what works right now is airing it out. That's gonna be second and six. Ball on the 37 yard line. And there's going to be a flag in the play, two flags. Looks like it's a false start. Backing them up five yards. And that is Miller West's second false start here. Not something you wanted to happen after a nice little run on first down. Almost no choice but to air it out here. It's going to be a QB sneak. Wrapped up. I'm perplexed by Millard West scheme right here. It's just, it doesn't make sense coming down the field like they did last drive and passing the football. And they go back, they go back to Brody Peterson and start running the football again. No success. I, I, it do, just doesn't understand. I just don't understand 
why they go away from what works. And we have a passing play here. Getting rushed, looks like he's got to run it himself. Takes a hard hit. But Fourth down. Fourth down here. Timeout, Millard West. Oh, no, that's end of the first quarter. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. And we'll be right back. We are back, start of the second quarter. Lord West has the ball on the 34 yard line. And that's it looks like it'll be a... And they're down! Tried to throw it. But was unsuccessful. And did they call a flag? And that's going to be a turnover on downs. The offense is staying out there. What are they? No. And they're... Looks yeah. like there was a flag on the play. Will Anderson in that fourth down. There's the backup quarterback. He, he's coming down those passing downs. If you if you see him on the on the on the field, number 16, they're gonna air it out. But number seven, Brody Peterson back there at the shotgun. Payne Strong at running back from Miller West. Let's see what they do now. Big drive here to get back in this game. And here we go. Another running play. And Peyton Strong with a nice run there. Five yard gain. One of the Patriots standouts, Lance Rucker with a the tackle there. Passing play. He's Looks like he's going to run it. And he has stopped it at the five yard line. First down for the Wildcats. A little nice roll out to the right. Give it to their elusive quarterback. And there it is. He did the rest. First down. They're in the red zone. First and goal for the Miller West Wildcats. See if the Millard, Millard South defense can respond here. Expect them to give it to Peyton Strong right here, the running back. And, and that is going start. to be a false start. For Millard West. Millard West starting this game really undisciplined. That's their third false start already. A lot of question marks on the offense like we said before, and it's really, it's really costly, and they're 
un undisciplined and having a lot of penalties as a result. Really need to get in the end zone right here. Oh, w would not be surprised if they started off and give it to Peyton Strong, their running back. High snap. And that was a high snap. And that's going to be a loss of yards. What for a play. Millard West. Just a costly mistake if you're Millard West. Started off at the 10 yard line, now you're you're not even in the red zone. And on a drive where you needed to get seven points, I, I would air this out right now. You are playing a rival in Millard South, you need to get in the end zone. There's no settling. And it looks like he's gonna do just that. Great, great defense. Marty Peterson showing his legs. Nice little roll out to the left. Looked, looked, and then he ran it for a couple yards. They're back inside the red zone, but third and goal. Still have to get about 15 yards to get in the end zone. What do you do here if you're if you're Millard West? Well, if they, they need to get some good yards on this to be able to have a shot at that fourth down. I would say at least within the 10 and looks like and that's going to be picked off that is going to be picked off austin trotter austin trotter saw that from a mile away and it's said it to mine that and was a costly mistake if you're miller to west you cannot have that happen if anything you wanted the three points but they decided to go all in, risk it all, and turnover. Miller South it gets just, it back. Just when you think Miller West was gaining some confidence and energy, Miller South shut him down. And if you're Miller South, you want to go down here and score and let this thing get out of control going into halftime. At the 20 yard line. Another QB sneak, spin move. Colzer looks like he's down at the 23 yard line. Nice little option play. They're going back to that option. But like I said, if you're the Patriots, you want to march down this field, destroy any confidence that Miller West has left in them and let this thing get out of control. Nolan Feller back in the backfield. Let's see if Nolan West defense can. And another QB sneak. Cam Closer really likes running. And Nolan West just does not have a response to that. It looks like they're picking up the tempo here, trying to get into position fast. Let's see if they can catch Northwest defense and looks like we got a false start oh offsides on Millard West that's going to be a first down for your Miller South Patriots I think one of the key things for Millard West coming back into this game is eliminating those those flags just a matter of discipline and that's something we have not seen from Miller West to start this game Lord West having three false starts and now one off sides. And Kozel's running it again. Showing his power. Moving the pile. Speed option there. He quarterback may be kept a, it. He may be a quarterback, but he can run for sure. Just another one of the things that the Patriots love about him. Super versatile on the field. Patriots have so many weapons on this offense. Anybody can run it, and Cam Colesville is a great example of that, and their quarterbacks. We'll see what the Millard West defense can do. Looks like it's going to be a running play, and that is going to be incomplete. Just high intended receiver number 18. Brock Murdoch. A little bootleg to the right there. Just didn't have any separation. Put it up there, got a 50-50 ball, wasn't accurate. 
incompletion. And Big third down right here. This is going to be third and one. Are they going to power through a run it, or they're going to do a little passing play here? We'll see. I'd go back to the option. Let's see what Coach Wisdom draws up right here. And a fake QB sneak. Might get it. And the Miller West defense looks like looks like they got a stop there. They went back to the option, but they gave it to the running back. And Nolan Feller was fine for those extra yards, couldn't get it. But looks like they might and that's go for be this. That's fourth and one. They're, They're going to go, go for, for it. Again, staying aggressive, having trust, and that's going to be Cam Kozo up the center. Boom. First down. Winner down, give it to Cam Kozo, and he does not disappoint. And the ball's going to be on the 50 yard line. That's going to be a first down. Six minutes left in the second quarter here. Keep running that clock. Keep doing the keep doing what works, and the option's working right now. No, it's out. Just taking it slow and steady. Efficient, and that is going to be caught by number 13, Austin Trotter. First down. And that's what happens when you have an efficient running game like Millard West, like Millard South has, is doing right now. You can just surprise them with a little short little pass off for 10 yards right there. Trotter, one of their best wide receivers. Nolan Feller with the run, tackle for no gain. And I'm telling you, steady legs right there. Keeps those legs churning, even though it was a loss. And he is going to be a special running back here. Not only for this season, he's a junior. He's going to be back next season. Looks like they're bringing in number 35, Grant Rankin. See what they do here. And that's going to be a running play. And he has some wheels. And he is knocked out. That was number two. Nolan Feller, there it is, right back to him. Steady legs, keeps those legs churning, and there you go. Long, Big yard. Nolan Feller just got knocked out there, but really really showing his speed there as he finds the gaps, gap and takes off. Inside the red zone at the 15. Here you go. And no South really just mixing things up. Gives it back to Nolan Feller. That's not successful, but they, they might have some unsuccessful plays, but they, they, they respond so well. I mean, it, it's the leadership on this team. Cam Colesville, they have so many so many weapons. They can, if Nolan Feller doesn't work, give it to Cam Colesville, give it to Brock Murdoch. So many weapons on this offense. Even even Trotter on the, in the wide receiver. Absolutely. Great hands. Really loving the start of this game for Miller South and touchdown here would be huge. And not only the start of the game, but the start of the season. Millard South looking strong. Timeout, Millard South. And that's going to be by the Wildcats. Timeout taken. And we will be right back. And we are back. Nolan fell in the backfield. Expect to give it to him. That's going to be a fake. Play action to Nolan Feller. Pass it off to um, Brock Murdoch. Too high. 
and again, just mixing it up. Huge third down here. I mean, you're not complaining to get this, get a three points here, but you want the seven points. Get this thing out of control going into halftime. Third and 10, ball on the 15. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Let's see what Millwood South can uh, get going here. And looks like Millwood West. Flag on the field. There's a flag on the field, and oh, it's a he fumble. fumbled. Oh, he gets on top of it. Great recovery by Cam Kojo falling on that ball to not give it up to Millwood West. Let's see what the flag is. It's on Millwood West. Sideline infraction, wow. Interesting call. They're going to bring out Simon McLennan for the field goal. Refs are stopping this game. There we go. Simon McLennan doesn't miss often. Five star kicker committed to uh, Kansas State. Let's see if he puts us to the uprights. So put the Patriots up 24 to 7. Windy night here. Could be tricky. And it's up and in. Great kick there. That's the Patriots up 24 to 7. Three score lead now. And what a what a half for the Millet South Patriots. Obviously having the first drive not go their way, but they have not won a drive without scoring since. And we'll be right back after this short break. We are back. Miller South kicking it off. Simon McClellan with the field goal. He's going to go back and kick it off. What a drive by Miller South. And Miller West, you need something to get going right here before the halftime. That's a touchback. Something interesting to watch. Who comes out as, as quarterback here for Miller West? We've seen a mix of Brody Peterson and Will Anderson. Little little mix and match. Brody, Ander Brody Peterson has been the option quarterback, been running the ball with him, and when, you, when they want to air it out, they go to Will Anderson. Looks like they trust his arm a little bit more. But it looks like number seven, Brody Peterson, is back under center to start this drive. Nice little run there by Bobby Joseph for the Wildcats. And you need this drive to start, you need this drive to start off well because you need to get down the field and score any means necessary. Not only that, but only having two minutes, about two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. They give it back to Bobby Joseph. Small gain, third down. Patriots D is not flinching on the running game. And solid all night on the running game. Oh, excuse me, it's a first down. Two 
two minutes left here in the second quarter. Marty Peterson and the shotgun. Peterson takes it. Another running pay. Patriots stop it. Interesting choice by Millard West. Consistent with the running play, but. And, and you'll see that Millard West has been swapping a bunch of their players. We had running back Peyton Strong start of the game, and for this drive, Bobby Josephson. They're, they've been swapping their players every drive. It's really, it's interesting to see, especially for an offense that's had as many struggles as they have. Pat. Running. Looks like he's gonna be out at about the 31 yard line. Tried to air the ball out right there, but couldn't find anybody. Trusts his legs, gets a couple yards. That's not bad if you're Miller West, but this is a huge third down. Just need a couple yards at a time to get down the field. And that's gonna get third and eight. Ball on the 34. Minute 30 left in the second. If I'm Miller West, I would be looking at the clock there. Needing a big play to get down the field to at least score a field goal. And looking for a pass. Nothing working for Brody Peterson, and he gets sacked for no gain. Punting team's going to come back on here. Patriots are going to get the ball back with about a minute left in the second. It looks like there was a timeout taken by the Patriots. Nice defensive stop there, and this has been a dominating first half by the Millard South Patriots. It'll be interesting to see what the Patriots do with the uh, minute 16 they have left on the clock. Are they going to try to go for it and score again, or are they just going to kneel it and let the time run out? Millard South is a rival. I mean, Millard West is a rival. You got to go for the extra points. Trust the arm of the quarterback. Go down the field, three points, seven points, it doesn't matter. Inflate this score as much as you can because we're playing one of our biggest rivals. You, you hold nothing back, there's no pity. Millard West and Millard South retaking the field here, the punting crew out there for Millard West. Looks like Delon Jones is back there for the return. Previously had a punt return where he almost broke loose. Let's see if he can do it again, and this would be a huge time to potentially get a touchdown on a kick return. Um, high punt. Don't pick that up. And that's going to be back at what looks like the 21 yard line. And that's where Millard South is going to start it off. A minute and three seconds left in the clock. Let's see what they can do here. Cam Coles was an athlete. And you got to trust the arm on this possession. Get him the ball in his arms. You have a plethora of wide receivers, whether that's Austin Trotter or Brock Murdoch or the tight end, Grant Rankin. Give it to those guys. Get down the, get down the field. See if we can get another points on the board to really make this game a blowout going into halftime. And Miller, if you look at the Miller West student section, they're shook right now. They, they, they really thought they were going to compete in this game, and been, they've been laying an egg to start it off. Drops back. Pass number 18. Brock Murdoch. Or that was number 13, Austin Trotter. Stop the clock there, going out of bounds. 57 seconds left. First down, your Miller South Patriots. If I'm Miller South, I'm passing it and getting out of bounds every play here. It looks like it's going to be Kozo running. And Gavin Nunnally, but it was complete for a first down. Good job getting the feet in bounds. And that's his repetition, folks, and that's practice to get those feet in and to get the yardage. What a play. And really made something happen out of the scramble. Hager's just having consistent yards here. Making their way down the field little by little. Another 
Screen play. Another screen play. Take a timeout here if you're Millard South. I don't let this clock run. But there, the one fella there it is. Through. There it is. And that's going to be a timeout. 35 seconds left on the clock. Despite the loss of yards right there, really been liking this drive so far. Again, trust the arm of Cam Kojal. Good things will happen. They have a plethora of wide receivers, and they're getting it done. And we will be right back. Back on the field from the south. 35 seconds left. Oljo. Wide open. And that's going to be the fresh number nine. Amarion Jackson. Big play there from the south. Spiked the ball right there. Good, good job, Smart stopping the clock. play. Already almost in field goal range, if not already. Absolutely, they're in field goal range. Simon McLennan, he can hit it from anywhere. But seven points, better than three. You're going to want to go for a touchdown right here. Second and ten. Kozel's going to have to run it here. He gets tripped up. Big sack by the Miller West defense. Number 12, Reed Hazen. That was a, that was a big play. You're going to need to spike this ball right now. Seven seconds. And spike it. they're going to have one more play. They're gonna, a gonna chance to score. And that's going to be out. Ooh. And that was just out of the hands. And Coach Wisdom is mad going into halftime. He was furious with that play. I think he wanted a spike, and he is mad. First time we've really seen Coach Wisdom lose his composure, but what a half by the Millard South Patriots, up 24 to seven against their dreaded rival, the Millard West Wildcats. And that is halftime. And we will be right back.
All right, I'm here today with um, the new Millard athletic director. Um, we're just doing a little interview here during the halftime show. Uh, just got a qu couple questions for you today. Uh, first off, um, how are you liking your new position um, in Millard? Obviously, you were at Millard North before this. Just how are you liking it? Uh, it's, it's been great. You know, I've been in the district for 15 years, and so um, – you know, having the opportunity to be able to serve the entire district now is really awesome. I'm a Millard graduate. Oh, yeah. I'm actually a Millard South graduate. Oh, yeah. And so it, it's been a wonderful opportunity for me to be out and about and, and really just to, to see our entire district and through another lens and just to really serve our entire district yeah, has been great. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> um, and uh, what, what, uh, what do students transferring into Millard have to look forward to in our sports and activities here? You know, we pride ourselves, at, and we have such a rich tradition of just providing excellence in our programs, whether it be athletics, whether it be activities, even our clubs. You know, providing extensive, uh, well-thought-out activities for our kids are really important. You know, hiring the best sponsors and coaches that we can have to serve in those roles to serve our kids is, is incredibly important. And then just providing that, that experience, whether it be as a participant, as a fan, like here tonight, yeah. obviously you're dressed <laughs> right. in the fan gear, right, which yeah. is great. Uh, just Just... The, the, the true important of elements of um, education-based athletics totally. and, 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 you know, the second part of education, in my opinion, is always, you know, the activities and uh, athletics. Course, yeah, and yeah. so very important. And, and I think we do a really good job at that. For sure, totally. And uh, what long-term goals are uh, um, do you have set for um, the Millard Athletics and Activities programs? You know, again, I, it's really to build on what we already do and, sure. and, and continue that excellence that we've established. Uh, again, the history here. You know, the community has embraced and supported our activities programs for since Millard has been Millard, right? And yeah. so to continue that tradition of excellence, uh, to provide the existing opportunities for our students and to find new ways, right? Totally. There, yeah. there, there are so many things that are changing. And so how, how do we find the next thing that uh, piques a student's interest? And how do we provide that opportunity? Totally, I get you, yep. And then any short-term goals you have uh, in mind right here? Uh, you know, really for me this year is just to be out and about and really just – to enjoy this position in its full, um, again, servant uh, as a district leader and, and, and to serve the district. And so just really being uh, out and about, learning about all our schools yeah. from, a, from a different lens rather than from a singular school lens with where I'm coming from. Totally, yeah. And then finally here, um, are there any plans for the facilities? Obviously here tonight, uh, obviously all the high schools share um, – Buell here. Um, any plans for this facility or anything in the works? Yeah, so very exciting. Um, actually, on our last board meeting, very grateful our Board of Education passed. Uh, we're going to do a renovation here of, the, of our press box at Buell gotcha. Stadium, and, and obviously this is our district stadium. We take a lot of pride in it, and so very grateful that the Board of Education also saw the need and the value. Uh, we're going to do a project right as soon as the last football game is over to expand the press box, add some new restrooms, really make it nice for folks like you that totally. are doing the media piece. Yeah. Um, we added a lighting package that we're really excited mm -hmm. about. So going back to that fan experience yeah. piece and why that's important. Sure. Um, and so that'll start right away as soon as football's done. And that will go all the way up until next fall. Really? And so it, it'll be an awesome uh, facelift for the stadium. And we're really excited so about be, it. Yeah, that's, that's exciting to hear. Uh, and that's honestly all I have today. My last question here, uh, what team are you rooting for here today? I have to ask. Very neutral today, right? right? I mean, you know, I, I'm thrilled to be here. You know, the, the water tower symbolizes Miller to me. Totally. Again, growing up here in my entire life. So it, it's great to be back in a neutral capacity and just watch the bands perform sure. as we are now and just being a part of it. And, and you know, and it feels like normal again, right, right? No, with no, all totally. the COVID and the things that we've gone through the last several years. Um, I'm grateful to have the opportunity just – to have a, that full student and fan experience to support our activities yeah, it again. It is great to see all these students out here, both west and uh, south. Student section packed house today, packed which to is house, great. Which is amazing to see. All right, but that's all I've got for you today. But thank you so much for stopping in here. And we got the Patriot uh, Pride Band going on right now. Absolutely. Thanks, Isaiah. Thank you. Appreciate you have a nice day. All right, for take sure. care. Yeah, appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.
and welcome back. We are in the third quarter here. Score is 24 with the Patriots and 7 with the Wildcats. Simon Weird. McClendon to kick it off right here. Just ready to get underway. If you haven't already, you like our content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That helps us out a lot. And like the video too. Win knocked the ball down, gonna re tee. It's underway. Looks like that's going to be touchback. Touchback. Scores around the Metro. Elkhorn South defeated Lincoln Southeast earlier today, 31 to 20. Miller North and Papio La Vista are tied, 14 to 14. And Omaha Westside up 24 zip on Creighton Prep. Thank you all for joining us again. And it looks like Norm West is going to take the field here. See if they can get something going in this second half here. First half was a little slow for them, only scoring seven. And Ball there's stolen. already a flag on the field. Backing them up five yards. And no less getting another false start. Not the best start for the second half, but have to make do. And starting off with a little nice run there. Gets it back to the 10, so they're going to have second and 10. A little nice run by number 24 of Miller West, Bobby Joseph. They've went to him recently as the lead back, been swapping him out with 25 of Miller West Paint Strong. Sticking with the running play. Looks like they're going to get a yard there. Miller West definitely not out of this game, so a lot of time left to score some. It's just going to need to be successful with their with their downs. You've got to get the offense going. It, this, this Miller South offense has proved that they can score at a consistent rate. Miller West has got to fight back and claw back through the offensive game. And I would say even more importantly, get their stop Miller South's defense. And looks like he's going to run it. There's a flag on the play. And And there's a holding. Don't quite know if he got to the first down. It's on Miller South. That's going to be automatic first down for Miller West. Doesn't matter either way. Miller West making a rare mistake here. Shane's have... Looks like there's a little confusion. And there we go. And there we go, chains moving. I was going to say, that was a holding penalty on Millard South. I don't know what the holdup was. And that'll be on the 39-yard line. Miller West has shown throughout this game that if they want to run the football at a consistent rate, it just hasn't happened. You need to start airing this ball out if the running game shows to be as poor as it was in the first half. As we know, their only touchdown has come from successful, successful, successful passing attempts, and they do so right here. Oh. I mean, that was a mean tackle there by Brock Murdoch. Just been flying around the field today, offensively and defensively. But there it is. I mean, he threw the ball out, got a couple yards. Keep going back to that. Nice catch. And, I and, it, and again, running can be successful. They just have to mix in a, a, a few throwing plays here and there to, 
to put the Patriots defense on edge. It looks like it's going to be a pass out. Gets tripped up. Number 14 is hyped about that one. Noah Schrader with a the catch there. No gain. Oh, I, like, Jones. I like the play call. Fake handoff, little screen. Patriots D has been salty all game. They've been sniffing everything out. Take it yards. Yeah, and Miller West already looking like they're switching things up a little, going between that that screen play, a little running, and a little passing. Could make for an eventful second half. Massive third down here for Miller West. Keep the momentum. Needs this third down for sure. Goes back to the running play, but Miller Town defense does not let it slide. They got to go for this. You can't run the ball on third and long and not go for it. I mean, that, that poor play call. It, it, you have no choice but to go for this right here. And wow, wow. And, and they're not going to. They're, they're going to punt the ball. And we're talking about the, the Mill and West offense, but we have to give credit here to the Mill and South defense. Absolutely. To, for stopping the running play. Um, I know last year Millard West had great success with running, and Millard South has said no to that and really making them throw the ball if they want yards. It's going to be a punt here. Delon Jones back for the return. He's going to fair catch. That's a solid, solid punt right at the 19-yard line. Millard South, they have one objective for this drive. Go down, score points, and end this game. Eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Offense coming out from Miller South. Millard West just needs to stop, get momentum back, and hopefully come back down and score, score a couple. Colso's been looking solid the whole night. The tip and action. That was a tip. Caught by Austin Trotter. Austin Trotter with the hands. That was not the play call, but it worked out. They get the first down. It, I'll, we'll take it, absolutely. Trotter made the best of it. Great heads up play by Trotter there. And great hands. Just showing how elite this this Patriot offense is. And that's Koljo. Nice sure. little option play there for a short gain. Looking at a second and five here. They're not switching up. They've went to the option, and then they'll trick you and go for a little short play action play bust one. I mean, the offense has been looking really good to start off this game and looks to continue that in the second half. For sure, a high-level offense here. It's going to be a cut. Play dead by the refs, see what they called. Good catch by Trotter, though. Flag. It's a holding on the offense. Backing them up 10 yards. And those are the mistakes you can't afford to have here Miller South. you got to get down the, down the field and score. Really, you don't want Miller West to come back in this game. Any bit of momentum Miller West will take. Patriots need to get more discipline right now. Already given up two, two plays here. Let's see if they can respond. Goes with the ball. Throws it deep to Trotter. Ooh. And that's going to be just far. Just over his head. Great stop by number four, Brady Bow. Good defense there. And you keep going back to that. If you if you're if you're gonna get one, you're gonna catch them lacking. Uh, if you keep running the ball as efficiently as they as they have, you go and have a deep throw like that. It's gonna work. Just keep going back to that. Just a matter of time. And Austin Trotter, he's an elite receiver. He is gonna come down with that eventually. Six two, one seventy four. And we got a timeout.
And we would like to thank one of our sponsors for this stream. Check out Corner Kick, Millard's best sports bar, located just down the street off of 180th and P. It offers Omaha's best fajitas, phenomenal street tacos, and a private party room. Locally owned by Millard residents who proudly support Millard South Athletics. Next time you want excellent food at a great price, visit the Corner Kick at 138th and P. And we have Koljo getting right back into the action. Makes a great throw. What a catch there. A little rollout to number nine, Amarion Jackson. And I don't think we've spoken about Amarion yet, but he is a freshman starting on varsity. He is going to be a special player for Miller South for years to come. What a great way to start off this drive. Definitely will be one of the leaders once he gets a little more experience. But shows he can catch and make plays. And would drive straight up the center. Nolan Feller there with the handoff, with the carry. Got a couple of yards there. And Trotter's coming back in. Patriots look like they keep switching out players, keeping them fresh. Only keeping them in there for a couple of plays. And wow. Cam Kozel with a the keep there, fighting for the extra yards. He's going to get a first down. Kozel just looking like a running back out there, powering through the defense and just getting yards for the Patriots. I can't wait. And big pass. And just tipped, and there's a flag on the play. Number four is not happy. That's got to be a PI right there. That was yep, number PI. four, Brady Bow. First down, Millard South. Charter seems to agree with the call. Looks like they just got tangled up there. An unfortunate call for Millard West. Just gonna have to fight through it here and see if they can get a stop. Right now, it's just the offense for Millard South has been a train that you can't stop them. They're gonna go right over you. Kojo steps back, throws. Didn't come down with it, but right in his arms. And Marion Jackson with the drop. It was a good play. And Great he, effort, too. Absolutely. And put it right where it needed to be. Just wasn't meant to be. And big second down here. See the Patriots come up with here. I mean, they have been throwing the ball a lot this possession. They're aggressive coming out. They want this game to be over. Steps back, throws it, 41. He finds a gap, stiff arms, and he is down at the 11-yard line. Gavin Dunnelly with the screen, catch, and he runs. You run after catch, I mean, he is a bulldozer coming down the field. They're in the red zone, first down and 10, Millard South. And the thing about the Patriots is that they don't make a ton of big plays, but all these little plays are really adding up. And there's a fake throw by Kozel, and Feller drives it straight up the center. We talk about Nolan Feller. He had a big play earlier, that big 75-yard touchdown yes, he did. to the house. Again, Patriots just proving that you don't need big plays for success. Just moving one step at a time, and that's a miss. A bad snap there. Kozo makes the best of it, throws it out. Smart play. Kozo down there for a second. Oh, no. Oh, and no. Cam Kozo is not getting up. And we get the. Up. And, he's, and he is limping there a little. He's going to stay in. And that is concerning for the Patriots. Just an error play there. Bad snap, and the quarterback's hurt. But he's going to stay in, and hopefully we can keep him protected. He won't. Hopefully he won't get hit again. This possession. 
Looks like it was the ankle there or a leg. And that is a touchdown for Miller South Patriots. That's number 13, Austin Trotter with the touchdown. And I don't know if you heard it, but there are the fireworks. Patriots scoring again. Kozo with an amazing bullet to Trotter there. And that was a perfect drive for the Miller South offense to start off this second half. And the, the students are pumped up. And that is going to make it 30-7. to seven. Could be 31 if this goes through the uprights. And it's that, good. That is going to make it 31-7. to seven. Trotter with an amazing catch there. Didn't even look like he was open, but Kozo fit it in there and made it work. And Patriots coming out strong in the second half. Scoring on the first drive and putting, really putting Millard West in a lot of pressure here. Haven't, haven't scored since the first quarter no. and really speechless on, on what to do here. Miller West has no choice. They have to go down and score seven of this game. It's over. And the way you do that is airing the ball out. They have had no success running the ball this entire game. They're only one score coming from a big passing play. You got to, and they, they've shown they don't want Brody Peterson, the starting quarterback, out there when they're going in that uh, air raid offense. And but even harder because Millard South right now has all the momentum in the world. So Millard West is going to have to find a way to calm Millard South down. This def the defense has been feisty all in, game long. In order to even have a chance. They want it. They want it. No, it's out just playing like a top team right here. Here comes the kickoff. It's going to be a, a touchback. Bomb. Looked like it was through the uprights, too. I mean, that, that, that didn't even touch the end zone. That went way over, and that shows you the, arm, the leg strength of Simon McLennan. No, there is... No, I mean, there's. He is showing you why he is a five-star kicker committed to Kansas State. Patriot defense already out on the field. It'll be interesting to see who comes out here for quarterback for Millard West. Looks like, and it is number 16, Will Anderson, replacing number seven, Brody Peterson. Haven't seen anything like what Millard West does, switching quarterbacks constantly. Nice little run there by number 25, Payne Strong. Strong getting a successful run play, one of the few in this game, for five yards. And That's going to be a second and five, ball in the 25. And Miller West has just been switching players all, all day long, whether that's a quarterback position or running back. they got to keep their guys in there. Whoever you think is the best player, they got to stand. The best player needs to play, especially at a time like right now. That's going to be strong again. Strong getting some good runs in from the West. And that might be part of the problem here is they're, they're switching quarterbacks and their quarterbacks can't get in the zone for them to make plays and be successful. And it's just every time they, they get to a point where they're making plays, they're just getting taken out again. Absolutely. And and meanwhile, Kojo's in here tearing it up, and that's going to be just high. If you're Millard West, you got to stay on the field right now. You have no choice, and it looks like they will. Just That's going to be fourth and two. Oh, nope. And, and they decided to punt. And the Miller West fans are not having it. Might have, might have been a smart call. Our fourth and two at the 28-yard line. But if you're Miller West, you needed to go for that to have any chance in this game. And now, Miller Miller South's looking to milk the clock and add some on some more points to truly Again, end this thing. No, it's how no, it's how defense is not letting up that run game, and they didn't feel confident enough about their passing game, and that's going to land about the 41. And roll all the way back to the 31. 31. Nice little punt there, but 
Miller South getting the ball right back. They're looking to milk this clock, get to the fourth quarter, and, and hopefully think, put some more points on the board. And I think the first thing that Miller West has to do is stop Miller South's offense. I, I, I don't even think it's a matter of their offense right now. It's just stopping Miller South's offense because they have been consistent in scoring. They have driven the ball down the field all night with no... No stopping, and here comes a running play. Oh, it looks like number 36. Gabe Prucha with the run. And no surprise, they got two running backs in the backfield right now. They, they're, they're showing it. They're just trying to milk this clock, get some first downs, and have this game for sure. end. I definitely expect more running plays from Millard South. Option. Cam goes with a flick. A successful one at that. Number 36, Gabe Pru Pruka. Now that was, a, that was a little trickery option right there after a little shovel pass. You'll love to see it. First down. Well, it's out just pulling stuff out of her belt. And look at the wheels on number 10. We have a flag on the play. Turner Tupper with the run. First time seeing him run the football in this game. Flag holding on the offense. They're going to be pushed back. Oh, it's out just being solid to stop with the arsenal of great players they have. See what they do here now. They want to convert this, but they also want to keep the running game going. First and long. I'd go back to the option. It's worked all day. A little trickery like that shovel pass that they just had. It's going to be first and 16. First down, so they do have a chance. Cam Kozel's going to step back. Go to 33. He is going to get tripped up. Lance Rucker with the catch. Nice little screen play. They went to that. Good way to get some yardage and keep the clock rolling. Got eight yards on that play. That's going to make it second and 11. And again, consistency, getting yards almost every play. Changing the play, it looks like. Two backs in the backfield from North South. And Cam Kozel tries to run, gets about a yard. A little and keep there from Cam Kozel, but. That should make it third and 10. Didn't work out. Big third down here. I aired us out. I I, I'm expecting to be, I'm expecting Millers out to be aggressive here, seeing if they can get a down the field option to possibly get a first down here and just keep that clock running. Has, has a minute and 24 seconds left in the third quarter. I'd say throw it up to Lance Rucker. 6-3, big body tight end. And that's what they do. And they throw it to number, number 13, Trotter. Oh, way above his that head. That is just, just above his head. Yeah. Trotter was open, but Kozo just could not find him. And the punting crew is coming on. That's the That was only the second full drive this game where Miller South has not had points. Offense has been a train all, all game, but Miller West gets a must-needed stop to give it back to the offense. As we said, they did try to be aggressive with that third down, just could not turn it. And their punting team is going to punt it away. And Miller West is going to have the ball with about a minute left in the third quarter. I think if you're Miller West, you're going to have to score every chance you have here in a time efficient manner, and that's gonna be a great punt. Keep rolling. And a great roll to the five yard line. Wow. Simon McLennan, what a punt there. Get inside the five, and Millard West, that's not a way you wanna start your drive. Again, let's see who comes out for quarterback. It's, it's, it's a guessing game every time. You're either gonna have number seven, Brody Peterson, or number 16, Will Anderson. And they've shown that they trust the arm of Will Anderson more. McLean, a very under, underweight, un, underrated 
player from Millard South. Number 16, Will Anderson, is back out there at the shotgun at quarterback for Millard West. Passing play, wow. number 28. Both and he corners. is fast, has the wheels, and he's running, and he's gone. And that's going to be a touchdown. He walks in for Millard West Wildcats. Millard West showing they still have some fight in them. It's and that was to number 28, 28, Jackson Williams. And Jackson Williams, honestly, has been the only player to show up offensively for Miller to West, having the two big touchdown receptions. They got to keep going back to him because he has been the man for them. Jackson Williams showing he still has some fight left in him as he runs for a touchdown, putting the Wildcats on the board again. And that was the last thing you wanted to do if you were Miller South. You gave momentum to Miller West. You got to come down and end all of that in this next drive. And Give again, it to Cam, Joel, Cam Colshaw and the boys Miller, and have this game. Miller West being aggressive, throwing the ball, and it works out for them again with Williams getting that touchdown there. Now let's see if they can put it through the uprights to make it 31 to 14. Still have time to make this an interesting game here. Sean Murphy back there for the extra point. It's up and good. Miller South still leads Miller to West 31 to 14. And we will be right back. Miller South up top. And we are back. Millard West fan section going crazy. Still have energy left in them. Haven't been able to use that energy all Looks game. Looks like Millard West is going to have an onside kick. Millard West being aggressive. Let's see if they can pull it off. No, it's a fake onside. And we're going to return this. Out that, oh. Does it have out of bounds. enough room, but luckily fumbles it out of bounds. Could have been huge for Little West if that was in bounds. Little tough getting a break there. Cam Coach on the offense marching right back out here after having a disappointing drive last time, looking to really end this game. 38 seconds left in the third quarter. See if Miller Tough can take advantage of it. Well, they're gonna wait this out to the fourth quarter. Nolan fell onto the backfield from Miller South. And Cam Kozo with the wheels again. Doesn't get far, but it takes the whole team to stop him. Never gives up. Nice little keeper, but Miller West snuffed it out. Let's get to the fourth quarter. Let's run this out. Middle West defense seems to be a little more confident right now. 
Seeming to stop more run plays by Millard South. And it's gonna be passing away to 41. He keeps going. He's still going. And he's gonna have a nice first down. Gavin Noli, not only with the catch to get Millard South the first down going into the fourth quarter. Nice way to start your drive off. And we would like to have a quick break to thank our sponsor, Runza. Pick the perfect burger for you at Runza. Bacon cheeseburger, Swiss mushroom burger, double cheeseburger, or spicy jack, just to name a few. Make it fresh to order and topped how you like. Runza makes it all better. Thank you, Runza, for sponsoring us. And we'll be right back for the beginning of the fourth quarter. 31-14, Millard South on top. We are, we are back, top of the fourth quarter. Millard South has the ball at the 37 yard line. That's gonna be a run play. Has a little bit of room. That's number 41. Gavin Nunley. Just a little reverse right there. Didn't work, but they went, they went to that earlier in the game, got their first touchdown off of a reverse play. They're, they wanna have another similar result on a big play like that, didn't work out. Expect to have Cam Kozel air it out on this one. Or perhaps give it off to the running back. To and Patriots are this. just gonna try to try to drain that time. And that's a completion for a couple of yards. Lance Rucker with the catch. And now he 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 has some great hands. All of our guys have great hands. They've been catching in, in the midst of contact all game. Big third down here to keep the momentum and milk the clock. Well, West chanting go big green. Hoping to get back in this. False start. Back him up five yards. Patriots making a little mistake there. It's gonna be a third and seven at their, at their own 41 yard line. Patriots just trying to stall as much time as possible, knowing they they have a good lead, and putting really all the. Putting all the pressure on Millard West. Error to throw there by Ken Coles with a number 41, Gavin Nunnally. That's gonna make it fourth down and seven. Looks like they're gonna punt it here. Jackson Williams back there for the punt return. He's had some big returns, all and or not big returns, but just big offensive plays. Williams definitely a threat in the backfield. Low arcing punt's gonna bounce. Looks like he's gonna run it, and he gets around Williams, and he gets wrapped up and tackled at the 28-yard line. Tried to make something happen there, didn't work out. Still got a couple yards on the return. Great job avoiding those three Patriots, getting a little more yards in for Millard West. Well, it's not just stopping him right after that. And here comes Will the Anderson. Little West offense. Will Anderson marching back out there as quarterback. Let's see what they can do in the fourth quarter. 
Bobby Joseph in the backfield. Play action. Let's see, they pass number 24. He has some room. Could he make the use of it? Oh he turns goodness. on the wheels. He and avoids the tackle. Go. And that's going to be a touchdown for Millard West Wildcats. Bobby Joseph turned on the Jets. And what a play. Millard West not giving up now. And that's going to put 20 on the board for Millard West. Miller West is back in this game on a huge chunk play to their running back. I mean, no one could catch him. Joseph catching the ball and turning on the wheels to really get that touch down there to put Millard West on the board and really seeing a little burst of energy by West here. So it looks like he was marked out of bounds. Interesting call. They're not going to count this touchdown. They're going to be marked around the 23-yard line. And the Miller the and West student section is not having it. That. What a deflator there if you're Miller West. That is not a good call for Miller West. Still a great run by Joseph there, but looks like he just stepped out of bounds. One of the things you have to be careful of when you're running on the edge. The theme of this offense for Miller West has been just the, the big plays that they've had have been all passing. Got to go back to that. And here's another passing play. And the Patriots are oh. all over him. Oh, they're going to call that, a flag. It will probably be a roughing the passer. That's going to be a hor That's going to be uh, – Yep, horse collar. Oh man, that that's a deflator there. What a what a great sack to get to the quarterback, but wrapped him up wrong and have to be careful. Absolutely. That's gonna be an automatic first down for Miller West. See how much they move him up. And there we go. And that. Wow. All the way to looks about the 17 yard line. You can't have that if you're Millard South. Huge mistake by Millard South. To I go to go from having a big sack to, to having a horse collar. It's a I'm deflator. A little excited there. And let's see if Millard West can take advantage of their mistakes. Play action. 28 was asking for it, but did not get it. And he's just going to throw that out. Good play by Will Anderson to shed off the, the blocker and throw it out of bounds instead of taking the sack. Little risky. That could, that could always result in a fumble, but he got it out. Cannot take a sack if you're in the West. You have to score here. Especially after ha having the score, but having it called back. And really, it, it wasn't only it wasn't only the points of the board; it was also the time. Big play by the Patriots defense. Looks like Adam Pugh coming up with the tackle behind the line. Third down for Millard West. Third and long. We are under 10 minutes left in this ball game. If you're Millard West, you want to find number 28. He's been a playmaker for you all day. For sure, 28. Two touchdowns for him already. Goes, tries to fake the run. And they're going to get a sack. But Millard South says no and gets a huge sack to put Millard West back at and what do you do right now if you're Millard West? You're not in field goal range, but you got to go for it. Let's see what they do here. They're going to keep the quarterback out. It's going to be a fourth and 18. They're going to need to throw it deep to salvage any hope in this it, game. It'll be interesting to see what they do. 
what plan they're going to go with. 14 looks wide. And, and he couldn't find anybody and he gets wrapped up. Who else but Lance Rucker for the sack. Lance Rucker, a dominating force here tonight. And Millard West had a touchdown but got called back and did not take advantage of the Patriots' mistakes. And you know what, that, that shows the resilience of the Millard South defense. To have a crushing blow like that big chunk flying to come back and shut them down. That shows you how well coached they are, how well disciplined they are, and the talent level. It's, it's incredible. And we have the Patriots' offense back out on the field, just as impressive tonight as the defense. And Colzo is just gonna run it and take it to about the 31 yard line. Excuse me. 37 looks like. 37. Keep running the football if you're Millet South. It's been working, not only has it been working, but you want to milk this clock. I would say until, until Millard West can answer, they really have nothing to lose with running. Ken Colso taking, taking it again, getting a couple more yards. It's going to be third and short here. Keep running the football. Trust your back, trust your quarterback. Whether you give it to Nolan Feller, you keep it with Cam Colso. Third and two right here. Quarterback's motioning. And another keep. First and down. he's going to get it. And he has room to the 56 yard line. Colesville. He's shown all night he has the wheels and he has the power. There, right, Miller, Miller West, 48 5. And what a big play there. Keep doing the option, keep giving it to your guys, keep rushing this football and keep milking this clock. Nothing more to ask for. Time is ticking for Millard West. They're gonna air it out. Smart play there, flag on the play. And that's gonna be an intentional grounding, I think. Yep. Intentional grounding. Coach Wisdom is not happy on the sideline. And that's the risk you run by throwing throwing the ball right there. I mean, you you kept on converting, just rushing the ball, doing the option. You go air it, you throw the ball out of bounds, and it's, co it's costly. And I'm second down and long right here. You are so <laughs> Fans not happy about it either. Seven minutes left in this ball game. I want to see some creativity from the offense right here. Kind of a fumble by Kozo. Throws it to 41. Screen pass. Nice catch by Gavin Dunnelly. Gets, gets some of the other yards back. They're going to have a third and long. Might as well air it out. You have no choice. Get Try to get that first down. I agree. Rely on your defense. They've been great all game. And if you get it, that's great. If you don't, your defense is there to stop Millard West. Absolutely. It looks like we're going to have a stoppage. Looks like it's going to be a... No, just... Hmm. Okay. They're talking to Coach Wisdom about something. Just a little delay in game here. And let's get back, right back to it. Cam Colesville going to take this snap. Nolan fell in the backfield. That was a long. Boom. And that, Boom. And that oh. is. That is Austin Trotter with another huge play for the Patriots. 
and that's what happens when you have an efficient running game. You catch them lacking, you throw it deep, Austin Trotter wide open, and makes you work for it. He gets a big play, now they're inside the red zone. Trotter just scored a touchdown a couple of last drives ago. He now comes up with another big play. He is on fire tonight. Let's punch it in right here. Quarterback draw, let's give it to Cam Kozel, let him run the ball and take it in for a touchdown. And they do just that. They Running do it just for that. Himself. Kozel for another Millard South Patriot touchdown. And that is going to make it 37 to 14. Patriots really. And this game looks to be over. Just, just a, just a really good performance from Miller South in their season opener. Almost putting the nail in the coffin here. Absolutely. But like I said, all they need to do, quarterback draw right there at the five yard line. Give it to your quarterback, and they made it count. Simon See, put it through the uprights. Solid kick, and that's through. And Simon McLennan converts. And the Patriots lead, 38 to 14. And we'll be right back. We are back. Patriots lead 38 to 14. If you're just tuning in, Austin Trotter had a remarkable catch to put the Patriots in scoring position. Kozel pushes it in to lengthen the Patriots lead. Sam McClendon with the kickoff. It's short. And Looks like number 45 for Millard West took that. Number 25. 25, Peyton, Peyton Strong. Strong. Couldn't tell if that was intentional or just a missed kick. What do you do right now if you're Millard West? You, you're you still playing for pride. This game looks out of reach, but you're still playing for pride. You want to get this in the end zone one more time. For sure. Get some points on the board. And if you haven't tuned in, Millard West has been switching quarterbacks every now and then. They're sticking with the backup, number 16, Will Anderson, for the rest of this ball game. it looks. Backs up, and he has a little lobber, and that's going to be out of bounds and incomplete. You have nothing to lose right now if you're Millard West. Might as well. Have to go for it. Mine as well. Six minutes left in this one. Looks like Miller West clearing out a little bit. Their fans. Another play action. Tipped. Nice play by number 12 right there for Miller South. Trey, Trey Weaver. Great catch by the Miller South coach. Third and long here for Millard West. And if you don't get this right here, it's going to be the nail in the coffin. Have to have to score here. At least get a first down. Looks like they're trying to go long. Boom. Sacked by number 60. Adam Pugh, his second of the game. Millard South not showing any sign of giving up. And number here. 16, the quarterback Will Anderson is hurt. He's limping and he's going to come off. They're going to get the punting. That looked like a here. hard sack. 
and he he looks shaken up. And that's something you don't want to see if you're Miller West. He has been pretty decent in this game, and you want to have him healthy for the rest of the season. That's not something you want to see, especially in garbage time right now. And if Miller West had any chance, that is going to make it a lot harder losing a quarterback. DeLon Jones back there for the return. See if he can finally break one loose. Nice punt there. And he's going to, oh, he muffs it. The and, line. And Miller West comes on top of it. They're going to have the ball around the 30 yard line. And that would be Creighton Tram catching it about the Catching it for Millard West. Just slipped out of DeLon's hands. Now that's that's one way of getting yards if you're Millard West. Not, that's not what you planned on, but you're gonna take it. And right now it's can Millard West take advantage of Millard South's mistakes? In the past, they haven't been able to. Millard South has made some pricey mistakes that Millard West have, has not taken advantage of. That they need to take advantage of this. So number 16 is back in quarterback. He is back at quarterback after being shaken up just a play ago. 29 in, 28 in motion. And here comes Florida South on the defense, throwing it to number 24. He's running and looks like he's going to be taken down by the Miller South defense. That's number 24, Bobby Joseph. Nice play wrapping him up. You do not want to have Bobby Joseph get into open field like he did before because he's going to burn you. We have seen his speed. And this clock just continues to roll. We're now under five minutes. Got to be aggressive here if you're Middle West. You're playing for pride at this point. Throws it to number 24, Bobby Joseph again. What a catch, one hand. a nice little one hand snag to keep the momentum alive. Bobby Joseph wants it. I mean, he has shown the he has shown up and he is playing well, along with number 28, Jackson Williams. Those guys have been their only two guys who've scored in this game and had really big plays. See if they can convert and not only get the first down, but get a score. Looks like they're going to run it again. Number 24, Bobby Joseph. I was Miller West. I, I would be putting it in 24 and 28's hands. Those have been your most consistent guys tonight. Just looking for any sign of, of life here. Looks like he's throwing it long. But and it is out. Who else? They threw it to number 28. You saw it. It was uh, Jackson Williams. He's been their guy. Just a little error throw. And I, I mean, you got to go for it. You give it to your best player right there. And if you, if you can't, if you could take one thing from this game, if you're Miller West, is Jackson Williams and number 24, Bobby Joseph, have shown up to play. They're going to be good for you all year long. And Paige. Oh! And there is a flag on the play, but a massive hit. He's going to keep running. He's going to keep running. And number, number oh. 56, <laughs> JR, goes all the way down the field. Let's see what this flag is all about, but what a play to put a capitalization mark on this game. I mean, what a hit that was. I do not blame the quarterback for letting that one loose. A giant hit by JR. But Miller West is going to keep the ball with them. It looks like the flag was on Miller South. And Miller South fans are not having it. So not happy about that call. Number 16, their quarterback's coming out. Looks like he's, he's going to be talking to the coach. Yep, he's going to come right back. But what a play there by Miller South. Regardless, the play was taken off the board. I mean, just a 
just a, an explanation mark on this game. Second and ten for Miller West right here. And we look like we have a stoppage. Resting in a second to talk. We'll see what this is about. I think they're just still trying to figure out everything that happened. Make sure they have the call right. And thank you for watching. If you're just tuning in. Patriots are up 38 to 14. Patriots have been killing it all game, having great defense and offense. And if you're if you're just listening to the stream, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Really helps us out here at Miller South Media. Ref still figuring this one out. Finally going to get some confirmation, and Miller South fans are just letting them hear it. See where they spot this ball. I mean, this. So they're going to spot it inside the 15 yard line for Millard West, second and five. Three minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Finally got things under control here. Let's get back to football. Action. Nice play number 24, Bobby Joseph. Little run there, gets the third down. What's the play for Millard South here? Are they going to keep running it or are they going to try to do a, a passing play and see if they can get it in the end zone? You're Millard West, you're doing anything that works, and what works right now is the passing game. I expect them to air it out right here. I have four receivers on that right hand. That's exactly what they do, and oh my. And Miller South reads that. Nice tackle there by Trey Weaver. Fourth and about 11 right here for Miller West. They have no choice but to go for it. Millard South looking to get a stop here to take the ball back and end this game. Steps back. That's a rough thing. I mean, that, is that, that was inexcusable by the Millard South number 70, 79. Just an explicit roughing the passer right there, and that's going to be a first down for Millard West. Inexcusable at the time. When you're, you're up, when you're up 38-14. You're looking to just end this game and to have to keep Miller West in and keep them get them this, this first down. That's not what you wanted to have. And the refs are still trying to figure it out. That's an automatic first, but they haven't moved up the ball. What is going on? And there you go. They moved up the ball. It's going to be a first down for the Miller West Wildcats. Up inside the 10-yard line, about the 8-yard line. Heavy set for Miller West. Miller West looking to pass it here. And he is tackled. What a sack by number 25, Caden Olin. Again, the Millard South defense not showing any sign of weakness. They're feisty. And they're, they want this game to be over. I mean, they could feel it right now. Millard West trying to have something go their way, and they're still looking. Made it, made it 45 left in the clock. Second and goal for Millard West. Play action. And he's going to try to run it. 
but gets trapped oh, by wow. the defense. And that looked like number 18 on the tackle. Brock Murta. And there's gonna be a stoppage right here. Looks like there was an injured player, number 27, for the Wildcats. Brody Peterson's back in at quarterback. Looks like number 18, or number 16, Will Anderson, got hurt. So the starting quarterback returns after seemingly being benched since the first half. Let's see what they can do here. No, it's tough. Defense all over it, and they swing him down. We're going to have a fourth down and goal. Last chance for Miller West to put some points on the board. This game's all but over, but they're playing for pride. Clock's running, 30 seconds left. This might be the last play of the game. Cody Peterson back there under center. Run the shotgun. The South wraps him up and takes him down. And with what a sack there by number 25, Kate Nolan. And with and 14 seconds left. All there is but a kneel. The victory formation. For and the Miller South Patriots. And your Miller South Patriots have defeated Miller West. 38 to 14, and all but remains is one victory formation meal. Miller South couldn't have asked for a better ending, a victory meal, winning the game against Cam their rival. Kneels it, and it's over. Miller South starts their season 1 0, defeating Miller West 38 to 14. Thank you for joining the broadcast here. This is me, Wilson Dimon, and Jonathan Spieler.